Damn. Looks like a plague doctor mask. To me, that looks like the skull of a deer. A white tail, most likely. Missing its jaw and everything else for that matter. Speaking of which, looking around, I can't find any other remains. Just the head. I can see the jaw over there popping out of the uh, leaves. Quite ominous, to say the least. And there are only two possible explanations as to why the body is missing. Number one, the Blair Witch is up to her usual shit, decapitating animals. And number two, the Welsh have run out of sheep. So they're now invading our country and stealing our deer. You up, mate? Fucking nut, you son. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Yeah. That's what I call stagnant. Falling that, you have some regrets. But I think I do know a man that would dive into this. Yo, JD! If you come here next time, I'll give you a ten if you skinny dip into that. This is a primrose, primula vulgaris, edible, the flower and the leaves. And I say the only good flower is a flower you can eat. Caveman salad. Tastes like lettuce. Nice. Add that to your bullshit hippie stew. Get them neutrinos. Since it's spring and there are new things popping up all over the goddamn place, I figured I'd take some time to talk about what they are. Maybe you're curious as to what all these white flowers are that have taken over the forest floor. Anemone nemorosa, or thimbleweed, is the common name. Nothing good to say about this flower. It's very poisonous. It contains a chemical called protoanemononin. If the plant is wounded or nicked in any way to make it leak its substance, then it causes rashes and blisters on the skin. Kind of like giant hogweed in that regard, but a milder, less fuck you up version. Apparently the Chinese call this the flower of death. Nice, eh? Same family as buttercups, funnily enough, which are also toxic. It does make you wonder why we as kids were so quick to rub it in each other's faces considering its toxicity. That whole, do you like butter? If it shines under your chin then you like the butter. I mean there's certain patches of white flowers popping up all over the place. Just these white flowers. Uh, Galanthus, Nivalis probably, probably Viricians. The species of Galanthus nonetheless anyway. More commonly known as the snowdrop. Well, the old Lena hut still seems to be up. It took quite a few minutes, in Well, ain't that a pretty little thing? This isn't a fungus, as one would assume. This is a slime mold, much more complex than a fungus. But we would certainly mistake it for a fungus based on the physical appearance. Now, slime molds aren't my thing, but I do believe I can identify this. Enteridium lycopodon. Yeah, uh, what's the uh, normal name for it? I think it's called false puffball or some shit like that. It starts off like a little bit of cauliflower, which then forms into a gelatinous clump like so. And then the outer layer gradually begins to dry up and forms a crust. The inside then dries and brown spores begin to form on the inside. Eventually the crust cracks and all the dry spores are released and carried by the wind, making those spores free to start the whole process all over again. It's kind of like the bastard child of a dandelion, a fungus and algae. It is pretty disgusting though, but they're not toxic so they are edible, but why you would want to eat it is indeed the question. Something I neglected to mention when talking about Trimete versicolor is that there are a lot of lookalikes. Here's one for example. Real turkey tails are flexible, pliable, soft, bent easily. Most of the imposters are harder than dicks on Viagra after sex with Medusa. Well they're not that hard but you know what I'm saying. They're called crust fungus as opposed to bracket fungus and real turkey tails have pores on the underside. This particular imposter has a flat, crusty, smooth surface like a piece of cardboard. I just stumbled across the mother load of real turkey tails. Flu and viral treatment for days. Years even. Welcome to the Woodland Pharmacy. Remember I said you get some real funky coloured turkey tails? There's a few funky ones on here. Like this green and black one. And there you can see the pore surface maybe. I'm not sure whether it's noticeable. Maybe you have to 1080p that. But it's a pretty little thing. Now this one kind of looks like a porcelain plate that an old lady would have as a dining set, you know? Very thin and papery due to its age, but still flexible. But not too far away, there's some imposters. No pore surface. Fake ass hole. 
You may need to 1080p this, but under the magnifying glass that I use for fire lighting, you can see the pore surface. Very minuscule little things, but green, orange and black. What a little show off. All them splinters in my farm. That's bad times. Getting splinters out is one of the most laborious fiddly tasks going. But it's best to just leave them in for now. I'll get a couple bitches to get them out later. It so wants to come in. It's like yeah. out. I just can't like, like can't like get a grip on it. Don't give up on it. I did get that one out, didn't I? Don't give up on it. <laughs> For those wondering how the old knee is doing, yeah, it healed up pretty nicely. Nice little sexy scar to add to the collection. This is the leftovers from my flint and steel fire. Just gotta kill it before I migrate to a new camp. All the dead fall round here has been used up, so gotta migrate. Got some char in there still though, so I'll pick that up before I head off. Just some for personal use. You know, I was trying to film this for the uh, Try On Without a Tin video, but what do you know? Forgot to press record. <laughs> and I can't be bothered to start again here. I'm gonna do this in my next fire. Yeah, boy. That's an acceptable flame height. Nice little shot of the back of my leg right there, though. Decided to make some more char for the road. Got char for days. I thought it would be a lot harder to catch the subliminal. Turns out so many people got it. Need to make it a lot harder, but... I think the first person to get it was GR2955. Grats, bro. Second in place was Will Arferton. I hope I said your name right. Afferton, perhaps. Will Afferton. That sounds about right. Then it was Matt Cohen. And recognition is deserved for Legit Muffin for their frustration at trying to pause the video at the right time. Good fun. And Clint Hardwood. Sup, bro. And Hgate Games, too. Junk Food Zombie, because he specifically asked for that shout out. I need to make these things a lot harder. I see it caused much frustration though, so fun times. Much of shito must be traversed today. Oh, well, that's a few sticks. Oh, it's, it's caught on the, it's caught on a branch. Go this way. Nice little bit of free cordage. Thanks, Mother Nature. Just a ticket. There's a plane flying overhead. I think I'm about to get drone striked. Thanks, Obama. Times like these call for small frivolities. Enjoy the glory of carbonated brown shit. Let's focus, shall we? brown shit that offers zero nutritional value good stuff no muddy water today no sir I done goofed man an old Helga lost her nose shit got real what can I say I'll send this old girl off to the best of the best Mr Doberman Knives and he'll fix her up real good I'm not retiring this slut just yet there's still life in the old girl I've just found this on the floor and I'm not entirely sure what it is. I mean, to me it looks like uh, an old rotten decayed crab apple, but the inside is looking particularly fluffy. It's looking like it could be used as a tinder. So let's throw some sparks at it. Let's see what it's like. If there's any bird watchers out there or people that are familiar with bird calls, help me out on this one. This thing has been going on all day. It has not shut up. You little fuck! But I am interested in what it is.
Here's a better example of blushing bracket. I think we may be able to make this one blush. It's pretty fucked as it is, but let's have a gander. If I apply pressure to this white patch, yeah, it turned yellowy. And the little white spot here, it blushed. Not as impressive as it would be if this was a young specimen, but, but hey, it blushed. It's kind of purdy out here. Fallen tree, ooh. Walking into the sun, feels glorious, man. Cypress tree, free tinder, yo. It's over there. Mm. Finished strong. Take a nice casual run back to civilization.